What is going on guys, Holden Riot here, and today I wanted to cover a little bit about the HP Reverb G2 specs, system requirements, and what is included in your package or in the box. So first off, let's dive right in to the specs of the HP Reverb G2. So with the HP Re Reverb G2, you have a resolution of 2160 by 2160, 2K basically per eye, um, it's LCD panels, um, with RGB subpixels, 2 by 2.89 inch dimensions um, is 7.3 by 3.3 by 3 inches. Um, the weight without cables is 1.2 pounds, which is not bad at all. Uh, refresh rate, 90 hertz. The lenses are single element uh, Fresnel. The field of view on the Reverb G2 is 114 diagonal degrees, and optical adjustments is IPD, it has those. Uh, the range is between 60 and 68 millimeters. The connectors, uh, it's a USB-C, but it does, in the box, and I'm going to get to this shortly, uh, they do provide a USB-A adapter. Um, it requires also a display port, and it comes with a power cable. The cable length is 6 meters, tracking is quad onboard camera, no external beacons, controllers, um, it has two controllers, and the audio is off-ear headphones, they're phenomenal, um, it has a microphone, which is solid, and the pass-through cameras. So, right here, you can pause the video if you wish, this is just a chart comparing the HP Reverb G2 to other popular VR headsets currently on the market. Okay, so what's in the box? In the box, you get a headset. There's two controllers. You can also order head the headset without controllers. Uh, headset cable with breakout box and a 40, 45 watt power adapter, which is essentially a standard notebook charger. Display port to mini display port adapter. You also get a USB-C to USB-A adapter, a one year uh, worldwide warranty, and also covers dead pixels, which is great, a manual and a, a pouch with the headset and two pouches for the controllers. Um, you also get four AA non-rechargeable batteries for the controllers. Um, I do recommend that you invest in some rechargeable batteries, and I'll have a link for those and options for you in the video description below. So with the G2, you also want a solid graphics card. Uh, at least a GTX 1080 for best performance possible. Uh, in the description below, I'll also link uh, a site where you can compare your graphics card to a 1080 uh, to see where you fit and where you fall. Uh, your graphics card needs to have a display port at version 1.3 or higher. This is important. Uh, and no HDMI using an adapter or lower version display port will not work for you. So if your um, GPU is listed in the system requirements article, then you're safe. Um, and that will be linked in the video description as well. Um, it is also recommended that you have at least 2 by 2 meters of play area. So you can play without needing to worry about hitting anything. Um, but if you're more of a simmer and don't plan on you know, physically moving, um, then that's perfectly fine too. Uh, everything you need is absolutely in the box. You don't need any base stations. Um, you don't need any Bluetooth dongles, um, and you can play Steam games on the headset, and you can even play Oculus games using Revive, which is really neat. I've got that set up. That will also be in the video description for you if you're interested. So again, you can pause the video at this next spot, but here is just a list of GPUs that can handle the HP Reverb G2 at full and half resolution. So this is some good information for you to find out if the Reverb G2 is a good fit for you. Um, it is 100% worth the, the money, in my opinion. Um, I've had a really good time using it and reviewing it. Um, in the video description and at the end of this video, be sure to check out my review on the HP Reverb G2 as a very someone who's brand new to the VR um, community, and it is my very first VR headset. Um, I am giving you a honest, 
unbiased opinion from someone that is brand new to VR. So be sure to check it out. Um, again, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe if you enjoyed this video, and be sure to check out that video. Have a great day. Bye.